Hello, folks, this is Bill Stern speaking to you from right behind the old eighth ball. We'd like you to meet one of the most consistent champions in the field of sport. Introducing Mr. Erwin Rudolph, five times world's pocket billiard champ and one of the greatest. A pro for 21 years, and you can shake a cue stick at. Rudolph says anybody can learn, but it takes 10 years to make a champ. Like a few tips? Okay. First things to make a proper bridge for the stick. Never make a big loop. That's all wrong. No control. So, make your bridge like this. Keeps the cue from wobbling and gives you a smoother, keener stroke. Now, how you grip that stick is very important. Don't choke it. Makes your arm stiff. Here's the correct way. Use the tips of your fingers and you'll get a gentle, easy stroke, see? If the distance between the bridge and the ball is too great, you're liable to aim for one spot and hit another. Here's the proper span, approximately seven inches from bridge to cue ball. Rudolph will now give us a lesson on position. He's gonna play the one ball for the corner pocket so that the cue ball will be in position for number two. This is done by hitting the cue ball top and center. This creates a top spin the boys call follow English. Okay, Professor, illustrate. Very neat. Now he's ready for the two ball. This time he'll hit the cue ball bottom center to create a backspin. This is called a draw shot. It all looks so simple when Rudolph does it. Every setup is different, and each must be executed with mathematical precision. There, he's ready now for the three ball. And this time, he connects squarely on dead center. Result, a stop shot, and the four ball is next. Rudolph holds the world's record for calling and making 254 shots in a row with never a miss. Rudolph works out little problems like this. One shot and a ball in every pocket. Here's a neat trick if you can do it. Take the one ball out of the pack and put it in the corner pocket. Ready, Professor? Steady now. Watch closely. Bingo. A variation of the same trick. He's going to take that one ball out on a triple kiss and sink it in the upper left-hand corner. From our bird's eye perch, we can follow the whole procedure. You hunters will appreciate this. It's called the wing shot, or catching the ball in flight. Few except the experts can do it twice in a row. And it's a hundred to one you miss even then. Now, well, we're gonna slow it up for you. Like putting and golf, the follow through is all important. And that, my little chickadees, is clipping them on the wing. What now, Brother Rudolph? A four ball shot with each ball in a different pocket. Okay, let them roll. A 15-ball round-the-world shot in which the one ball kisses all the others before dropping in the corner pocket. A draw shot super deluxe. Watch how the three ball is brought back to the upper right-hand pocket. Boy, that's sinking them. A masse shot. One of the most difficult in pocket billiards, the cue ball is hit high, causing it to spin. It goes forward, reversing its course like a broken field football runner, and around the rack for the upper right-hand pocket. That's what you call plenty English, that shot. See the ball in the upper left? He's gonna send the ivory right around the rack, and how's this for calling it? Bullseye. Now keep your eye peeled. The cue ball's blocked. In golf, we'd call that a stymie. So what does he do? He jumps the obstacle. Watch it hop. Very neat. Ever have trouble with a ball out of bounds? Rudolph picks one off the rail and completes the shot by sending the other ball in a corner pocket. A jump bank shot. By hitting the side of the rail, he's gonna corner the ball in the upper left-hand pocket. Watch.
Now he's going to jump that ball out of the rack into the lower right-hand pocket. Just to make it tough, Rudolph uses rack and balls as a hurdle, steeplechasing a la pocket billiards. Idea here is to make four balls on one shot with the help of the cue sticks. Think it'll work? Professor, you win. And so you'll appreciate the mathematical precision of the maestro's art. He's going to send the cue ball up one stick, down the others, and into the side pocket. All aboard. Going up. Second floor. Ladies' coats, shoes, hardware, tennis rackets, and golf balls. Change over. Going down and right on the beam, too. This trick, boys and gals, is guaranteed to make you the life of any party, but it takes more than one easy lesson. Rudolph was known as the masked marvel. Perhaps that's why one of his favorites is the hidden ball trick. The handkerchief, please, young lady. Thank you. Today, we blindfold the balls instead of Rudolph, and the champ will pick them off from under the handkerchief. You guess what's going to happen. A perfect shot. Give the gent a cigar. So he takes a pop bottle instead. And there, folks, is the way Rudolph pops them in without batting an eye. Using draw English, he plays the two ball into the upper pocket, jumps the cue ball over the bridge and back under the obstacle to pocket the other ball. Appropriate today, the machine gun shot, a 15-ball kiss aimed for the ball in the upper right-hand corner. Of course, the best way to play is to get yourself an educated screwball like this. Let's try a billiard shot using the same ball. Uh-oh, look out. Well, what do you know? A perfect billiard. Rudolph wants to leave one simple lesson with you before signing off. A 14-ball combination never before filmed. They're spreading and taking for cover like folks in an air raid drill. Don't tell us he thinks he can sink them all. Well, almost one left. Too bad, Rudolph. Better luck next time. This was really too much to expect. That cue ball spoils the record. Wait, wait, look. Uh-oh, it's in. Boy, you don't miss a cue. A sure enough champ. <laughs>